Okay, we're just going to finish off this uh, checking function here. So this is basically saying if the radio button that you're looking at at the moment is checked, then go away and do this. And the first thing that we need to do is basically if the, if the button that is checked has got a correct written next to it, then um, you know there's a particular thing we want to be able to do. So basically we're, we're just writing the index in a square bracket. So if the, if the radio button, um, uh, its value is equal to, and the way you have to use is equal to is a double um, equal sign here. Um, otherwise, if you use a single equals assign, uh, it means assignment. So if the value is correct, Okay, because we've given these values already, then what we want to do is uh, basically in the bit uh, that we've named on our form, I think we call, called our form quiz, didn't we? Let me just have a look at what we called our form. So form name, yet yeah, quiz dot answer box. So then if it's correct, then we want basically quiz dot and then uh, this answers box here so quiz dot answers box so that has to be a capital put up because I put a capital uh, in there is basically going to equal this is what it what we want it to say is we want it to just say well done okay that's all we want to happen um, but not just that, we want it to say well done and then we also want to finish, we don't need it to check anything else. So we use the, the break to say just come out of this loop and both of these are going to happen as a result of this if check. So I'm just putting some braces in to isolate these statements. So the, the kind of logic is basically saying um, go and get all the radio buttons, uh, go through them one by one. Uh, the first one you come to check, um, have a look to see whether it's checked, so you know the radio button has been selected. Uh, if it's checked then carry out the next test which is, um, is the value correct? If the value is correct then write well done in the quiz, um, quizzes answers box because quizzes are form, the name of our form and answers box is, is that bit, oh, and that's dot value that should be, because we want the value of the answers box to equal well done. Okay, so that's all we need to write for our function, and if we save our HTML as well, uh, and then basically we need to set an on-click property. So in the submit, we basically need to say on-click, and equals and in quotes we're going to put the name of our function and just remind myself it's check capital Q and then a, uh, an S so check capital Q and then an S and then uh, curly bracket so basically on click it's going to run that the submit button is so let's save this make sure they're both saved um, load up our web page and then select a wrong one and submit that, nothing should happen. Reload our page, select the correct one and submit that and it makes a change here. Uh, if this doesn't happen, then uh, we need to use F12, the developer tools, and we could actually have a look at the script uh, for it and it will it will give you an error message here and tell you sort of what line it is but syntax is quite important with um, uh, JavaScript although declaring <laughs> declaring variables isn't or declaring the type of variables and things like that isn't so just um, a reminder of what our, our code is doing here and obviously it's programming so there's lots of different ways to solve this problem so at the moment all we're doing is we're saying go to the document, go to the HTML document on which this script is going to run and then go and get all the elements that's got, that have got a name Q1. So if we just have a look, so we've got our radio buttons here, 
which are called Q1, so it's just going to get those radio buttons there uh, and it's going to put them in something called QS. So it's putting them in a container called QS, one after the other. Um, and oh yeah, and the important thing to understand about this container that it puts them in is that um, it's basically, it, um, so if it's put, let's say, everything to do with Q1 in, in, in you know, it's, it's gone and got a list. So, so here's Q1, our first question, then Q2, although this doesn't really look too much like a one, and then everything to do with Q3, you know, it's, it's just gone and got the list, so it's got the, you know, whether they're checked, uh, it's got the checked and it's got the name of them and all of those things. It's got those for all three buttons. But the way it's uh, referencing mm. these is that this very first question is referenced by using the square brackets and zeros. So this is the index of this array. So even though it's got three items, because we start counting at zero, um, oh, sorry, because it, uh, we basically end up counting only up to the last value which is 2 so 0 1 and 2 so th this is this this data structure here uh, this is called an array you know that that's essentially what it's creating and this is basically basically our index into the array and the index is is a bit like um, a, you know spreadsheet where you've got uh, you know column a and then you've got row one it starts at and then you can access whatever uh, is in that this cell by using a1 as a reference well the same thing with the array we can access whatever's in the very first element by using the name of the array uh, i think we called it qs so qs and then this syntax here zero will give us everything to do with uh, uh, this very first radio box. Okay, I hope, I hope that bit makes sense. So um, I think the next thing we're going to do is sort of make some changes so that we can check the other three radio buttons and also think about writing the correct answers if somebody's got that wrong.